Look, it's the discount family friendlier version of the 300, because that's what we've all been clamoring for. The Legend of Hercules stars Kellen Lutz as the son of Zeus, destined to reluctantly save humanity from an evil, bloodthirsty conqueror. And while doing so, the only thing bigger than the size of his muscles may be the size of his heart. That's right, it's Spartacus meets You've Got Mail. Now, before I give it too hard of a time, let's identify what actually does work here. There's something really interesting about the pomp and circumstance of the Greek mythology, and I think this movie does manage to capture that well. Not only that, but the story itself, though basic, never loses its place and keeps you moving through the plot efficiently. But the best thing about this movie, it's easily the battles. I found myself really enjoying the way these fight scenes would play out, and I think a lot of that has to do with the inventiveness and bravura with which they are staged. Every time the story started building towards a throwdown, I found myself instinctively smiling and getting my eyes on high alert for any cool parries or blows. Of course, the other thing my eyes picked up, and we will shift into worst thing mode now, was how awful the CGI in this movie was. I mean, the effects in this movie reminded me of those corny TV shows like Xeno Warrior Princess. I mean, from those few seconds I may have seen it while flipping channels, not from owning any kind of deluxe Blu-ray collector set or anything. Seriously though, it's like they spent their budget on baby oil and helmet feathers, and when they needed to animate a computer-generated mythical beast, they said, well, as long as it's on par with claymation, we're good, right? This also added to the fact that everything in between the fight scenes started to feel like a video game cutscene, where we had to sit through the next set of exposition to get us back to the button pushing action. Again, it wasn't boring necessarily, it just felt passive instead of active. Also, I found the ending to be a bit telegraphed and anticlimactic, but I could have just been annoyed that there would be no more butt kicking once the credits rolled. Overall, The Legend of Hercules is an average movie with an above average fight scene, but a complete fail in the visual effects department brings it back to a C. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. You can stay tuned for this review's best ever challenge here in a bit. But first, I'm gonna put some stuff up over here that you can click on if you'd like to subscribe, which I very much appreciate. You can do that by clicking the big gray subscribe button. If you wanna see more, you can click over here to see a review of the Oscar nominee August Osage County, as well as links to my 2013 favorites list. I've listed out my favorite 20 TV shows in top 41 movies of the year, so feel free to check it out and tell me what I missed. You can also click the logo right up here to go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews if you like. And finally, here's this review's best ever challenge where you name the best movie ever in a particular category and also try to identify my choice. This time, name the best Greek mythology movie ever. Now, mine may be a bit of a cheat, but it involves fugitives who end up singing a surprise hit on the radio. Drop your own answer and a guess at mine in the comments, and the first person to guess mine gets a point. Thanks, and please subscribe.